Previously on the future of yachting now. This is the first Sunreef 80 sailing eco. All of these components are built here to precise specifications and then fit in the boat. We are discussing the trip to Dubai to evaluate first sailing eco boat. We negotiated with Sunreef to have access to the Sunreef 80 as a contractual obligation. With the client, we traveled to Dubai to see the new technologies and go on a sea trial. Despite being a sailing vessel rather than a powerboat, our voyage offers a unique opportunity. The client can explore many of the same eco-friendly solar technologies utilized in the Eco 80 power yacht. Sunreef Eco 80 in Dubai, as well embedded solar cells on the side of the boat, beautifully embedded in the hull. Totally smooth. So we're on the Sunreef 80 Eco, first Eco sailing. We're in Dubai, we're doing seven and a half knots. The boat is totally silent. We've got the rest of the day in the battery bank to cruise around on. We're gonna anchor out here, have lunch, and then go for a sail in the afternoon. There's solar cells on the flybridge on this boat. There's solar cells on the side of the coach roof. There's solar cells embedded in the side of the hull. And if you walk out here with me, you'll see that on the mast, there's solar cells all the way up the mast. We have displays in the salon that will show us the solar output on all of these and very detailed uh, reporting on what we're making, what we're using, and what's being stored in the battery banks. This is a capstan. We're pleasantly surprised to learn that this boat, while operating the air conditioning, the fridges, the freezers, the audio and video systems, the lights, uh, plumbing. We had a chef on board that prepared us a meal. So there were ovens and stovetops operating that were electrically powered. Is that the boat was on average using as much power as it was generating from the solar skin on it. And with the battery banks, fully charged, we've been told that we should have four, four and a half days of power, depending on the consumption and the mission of the boat. The technology evolved so fast that since the time of our trip, it is now estimated that a full charge can provide an entire week's worth of power. When you're up close, you can touch, feel, and better appreciate the thoughtful craftsmanship that goes into building a yacht of this caliber. It not only deepens the client's connection with the vessel, but provides valuable insights for our future projects. The boat moves around and it faces the sun in different directions, and really being able to have the cells on the side was very encouraging that it's meaningful that they do generate power and that all the different locations on the boat, whether they're horizontal or vertical applications, do generate meaningful power, but just simply at different parts of the day or in different ways that the boat is orientated to the sun, whether it's at anchor or tied up or whatever, to have these cells mounted in those locations does make a difference. And, and they're expensive and we were thinking, maybe it's not worth it. Maybe they don't make enough power to justify the expense. You know, our clients were, were very satisfied with the efficiency of the cells and how much power they, they actually generated. So there's very little differential in the heating on the cells. And that was something that we had a lot of concern about. And we're aware that other solar panel configurations generate a tremendous amount of heat. And I believe because of the construction of these and being very thin, that they retain less heat and develop even less. And maybe it has something to do with the way that they're laminated onto the hull that that is dissipated in some way, but we found that it wasn't noticeably an issue for the panels. After we left Dubai, we were thoroughly impressed with the operation of the boat. Uh, everything that Sunreef had told us the boat should and would do, it was doing. Uh, we were very satisfied we'd made the right decision going forward with these, these technical changes for our build. The debut of the Sunreef Eco 80 at the much anticipated Dubai Boat Show was a resounding success. The yacht's presence reaffirmed the growing demand for sustainable luxury in the yachting world. 
setting a new benchmark for eco-friendly yachts. As a response to this rising demand, Sunreef Yachts has since constructed its first overseas shipyard in the United Arab Emirates. This new state-of-the-art facility is dedicated entirely to the construction of custom-made luxury catamarans. On the next episode of The Future of Yachting Now. Boats were, were being delayed around the world. There were huge supply chain issues, and we went from having Zoom and once a month meetings with our project manager to having meetings every week. We felt it was very, very important for us to have our finger on the pulse of what's going on at the shipyard. The amount of transparency that, that we received from Sunreef was, was great, and um, Sunreef was just fantastic at really being on top of their vendors and, and knowing what we could and should expect.